Over the past 20 years, the rate of young voters turned out in general elections have declined. Cardiff University held an event to encourage young people to register to vote. Brexit, everyone saw how um, not enough young people voted, and if they did vote, um, we were the ones that wanted to remain, whereas other people wanted to leave. So I think now people realise how important it is for us to vote, because it's our future, um, and these people are going to be implementing policies that are going to completely change our whole future. The university fees could be scrapped, they might not be scrapped. So for anyone who's in a working class family and they want to come to uni, this could be one of the most important elections of all time, in my eyes. I think uh, as, a, as young people I think we wanted a Labour government, but maybe not necessarily the right people were in charge of that at the time. Um, I'm not sure if it's any better at the moment, personally, but um, it's the policies. It's, we... the, it's the policies. Last week, Sharp Swansea Humanitarian Aid Response Project organized a discussion with politicians and youth at Swansea YMCA. Youth worker thinks lack of education is one of the reasons why there's low turnout among young people. Young people turn 18 and all of a sudden get the right to vote, but there's no preparation to get there. There's no education within schools or colleges to let young people know exactly what it is that they need to vote for or what it is they're voting for and why it's so important. So all we try to do here at YMC is to try and fill that gap. C says there's also lack of representative voice for youth. The majority of young people that don't vote are young people who are most um, experiencing challenges, having barriers such as homelessness, um, drug use, family breakdowns. You know, those types of young people have issues that they need to face before they can cons consider voting. The event also brought together people from different backgrounds who are allowed to vote. With events like this, it directly engages youth with politicians to discuss issues which are important to young people. We, um, we don't necessarily as sharp encourage people to vote because we are supposed to be politically uninfluenced by anyone. Um, but what I've done currently is we've got a, a youth centre that I go to and we've opened up the IT suite so that we can encourage youngsters to come or any of, of any age from any background, from any area to register to vote and if they have any problems or learning difficulties we can go through that with them. Tom Spur took part in similar discussions that are being held around the UK. He works in higher education and thinks it's important for schools to get students engaged in politics. That, that young people are able to access neutral uh, grounds, uh, charities and organisations that promote democracy, not just politically led, uh, party political, uh, but students should be aware of uh, what they can get involved in, and young people should be able to get be aware that it's not only political parties, but uh, charities and causes which they can get involved with. Uh, it doesn't have to be party political. The number of registration has increased and the campaign organizers hope that the young vote will make a difference in this general elections on June 8.